What's going on everyone? Nick Smith Koblitz here from Crypto Paranormal Investigations and welcome to PTV. Today I want to talk to you guys about a very special piece of equipment, something my team uses all the time on investigations, but I think is a little underutilized in the field of paranormal research. I'm talking about parabolic microphones. So audio recording equipment is something just about every paranormal investigator uses. Most investigators and groups use audio recorders like digital voice recorders, but some people are still using analog cassette recorders. One problem with a lot of inexpensive digital voice recorders and nearly every cassette recorder is the poor audio quality you get from the built-in factory microphones. You get a lot of noise, it sounds tinny and just, just terrible. One thing you can do to instantly improve your audio quality is of course using an external microphone and there are literally hundreds of models out there to choose from. But today I want to share with you guys one of my team's favorite microphones to use on paranormal investigations and it's this guy right here. This is a parabolic microphone. Basically what a parabolic microphone is, is a hypersensitive microphone that uses a parabolic dish, that's this part here, to focus sound waves. And what this does is not only make the microphone much more directional, but it greatly amplifies and enhances sounds. Systems like these are used by wildlife researchers and videographers to record animal sounds at a distance, and they're also commonly used by security and military professionals, as well as in search and rescue operations. So why would you want something like this on a paranormal investigation? Well, the ability to enhance sounds and pinpoint them to a particular source makes it extremely useful for trying to capture any sort of unusual sounds that you might hear, or for attempting to record something like EVP or electronic voice phenomenon. What you wouldn't use something like this for is recording interviews or notes. It's just not designed for that. Now there's a couple different companies that make these and you can pick some up online now for under $100. This guy right here is the Bionic Ear by Silver Creek Industries. I don't even think that company's in business anymore, but the patent's been passed on to other retailers. Still got the original sticker here. So we got this back in 2006 or seven, and it's still performing like a dream. It looks like hammered metal, but it's actually a super durable, lightweight plastic actually know what this weighs. It's under a pound. You can hold this for hours without getting tired. Now the microphone on this is sensitive to sounds between 100 hertz and 10 kilohertz, and it will amplify sounds by 40 decibels. Like all parabolic microphones, it has a dish. That's what makes it parabolic. But what's super unique about the bionic ear is the ability to use it without that dish, like so. This right here is the actual bionic ear, this little tube. The microphone's here at the end, covered by this little piece of felt. This is your volume control and on-off switch. Just click it on and turn it clockwise to increase the microphone sensitivity. Now you can use the unit like this and it will still amplify sound, but you do lose the directional quality to it. This part right here is called the Bionic Booster, and when we purchased the unit, this was actually an add-on you purchased separately, but now you can get the whole kit as one. One super great thing about the Bionic Ear is if you're using it like this without the dish, you can hold it against walls to listen for noisy pipes or nesting animals, or Place it mic down against a floor to try to record the sound of footsteps. This thing is so sensitive, you can even hear your own heartbeat with it. Just a note, if you do buy this, don't mount the microphone facing outwards. It's not how this works and it makes the dish completely useless. I've seen some crews doing that, looking at you most haunted and it, it just bothers me. I mean, if we're gonna spend all this money on tech, at least use it properly, right? Now, most parabolic mics that I've seen do have an audio output. In this case, you have a stereo 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can easily connect this to an audio recorder, a computer, even a video camera. 
One awesome feature of this unit is its automatic safety circuit, or ASC, and what this does is automatically turn the microphone off if an extremely loud sound occurs, and basically this is to save you from going deaf. If any sound that exceeds 95 decibels happens, drop something or cough or anything like that, the mic will automatically turn itself off and then turn back on again so you save your ears. Another great thing about the Bionic Ear is the headphones it comes with. These are actually the original headphones right here. The little pads came off ours. Gotta get Miranda to fix that. The Bionic Ear is built to take quarter inch phone jacks, which is great because it's better quality than 3.5 millimeter jacks. And you can actually use this as your audio output depending on your setup. What's super cool about these headphones is you can actually adjust the volume level on the headphone on the right and left side by using these little dials here. So if you're using this in some place that has a lot of ambient noise, you can keep your mic sensitivity low and then just increase your listening volume directly on the headphones. Now you can swap these out for whatever headphones you like. You can plug in your favorite pair of Beats if you so choose. But for safety reasons, if you're just starting out, I would recommend starting with the included headphones. Keep your mic sensitivity low, keep your volume on your headphones low, and then just adjust them until you're comfortable with the sound that you're hearing. It can take a little bit of fiddling, but it's really easy to do, and it makes the Bionic Ear super adaptable to different environments. The Bionic Ear works great indoors, but if you use it outside, especially on a windy day, you're going to end up recording a lot of noise, so I really think this is a tool best suited for indoor investigations. The Bionic Ear and Booster does cost slightly more than other parabolic microphones out there. It generally retails for between $150 and $200, but honestly, for what you get, this has been one of the best pieces of audio gear my team has ever picked up. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review and found it useful or helpful in some way. Hit that like button if you like what you see here. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next video.